when God speaks, we should do what Joseph does and simply obey. Simple, consistent obedience is what we see from Joseph. Are you simply and consistently obedient to God? As he's revealed himself through his word. Some of you, you're like, man, I may not know it. You're a new Christian. You're like, I don't know everything God says, so I'm probably not obedient. And you'd be probably the most honest person here. And so thank you. Uh, and so in this, what, what I'm saying is like, as you're reading God's word and as you become aware that, that you believe something that contradicts what the word of God says, are you willing to lay aside being wrong and agreeing with God because he's always right? That's what repentance is. So sometimes it looks like actions. Sometimes it just looks like in thinking differently about the world. Sometimes it's ideology shifts. So what I, what I imagine is many, many believers, they don't, many Christians, we're part of this family, but we don't even know uh, what, what our God has said. So we don't know how to obey. And so then we start hearing preachers and we go, man, that's just a political statement that guy's saying. Here's the deal. The word of God is not a political book, but it has political implications. We're going to get into some of those here in a minute. It's going to make some of you frustrated, upset, maybe even angry. But here's the deal. I got, we got to see that when God says something, when God speaks, it's our job to hear it, receive it, and obey. 